Well, here's another great case crushing clip right here. Man accused of trying to harm girls faces the judge. Oh yeah. A man accused of trying to harm two elementary school students nearly two years ago faces a Tampa Bay judge Friday for his punishment. <laughs> oh, I wonder what his punishment is going to be. Oh, yeah. Trying to harm two elementary school girls nearly two years ago faced a judge this morning. David Daniels is charged with false imprisonment and child abuse. He recently pleaded guilty to the charges, and today... He got his punishment. Fox 13's Gloria Gomez joins us live from the Hillsborough County Courthouse. All right, Gloria, what happened in court there with Daniels? We had emotional testimony from the two witnesses that saved the lives of these two little girls. And it appeared that testimony had a big impact on the judge. The quick actions of Joanna Burgess and her son nearly two years ago saved the lives of two young girls. Ultimately, the things that come to mind are the look of absolute fear on those girls' faces when mouthing, help us, he's not our dad, to me in the parking lot. Prosecutors say David Daniels is responsible for harming the girls. It happened on June 12th of 2022. The girls, ages 9 and 11, were at a restaurant in the Fishhawk community. They say Daniels zeroed in on the girls and began yelling and harassing them. Daniels uh, then forced the terrified girls to follow him. They ended up at a nearby church. Joanna's son, Brendan, spotted the trio and knew something wasn't right. I'm looking at my mom and she's like, something's up. Okay, so I go over there and I can, as soon as I get close enough to these kids and hear their voice and see their faces, I know something's wrong. So we get them inside, eventually get them separated. And the terror in these kids' faces is something I will never forget. And his mother remembers the trauma behind the tears. What comes to mind is they're screaming for what seemed like hours once we removed him from them and locked them safely in a room. And even then, they couldn't believe that they were safe. Later, Daniel's mother told the court her son suffers from a mental health disorder and had bouts of paranoia and hallucinations just before the incident. Daniels spoke to. I'm so sorry. I, I can't explain to you w what I was going. I can't explain. I know what happened. I can't. I know sorry's not going to cut it. And then it was the court's turn. Before handing down her sentence, he the judge sorry, took the time to creep. thank the Burgess family for what they did. I applaud you. I wish you wouldn't have been put in that position. But when you were, you rose to the occasion. And with that, sentenced Daniels to nine years of both community control and probation. Daniels won't see any jail time. What? The Who judge also ordered time? the defendant to stay away from the Fishhawk community and not to have any contact with the victim, the victim's family, or any witness in this case. Just a heartbreaking day in court. Back to you. Well, and the judge had to obviously exercise some leniency there given that this is what? a man yeah. who is clearly dealing with some mental health issues. That's but I'm curious, Gloria, community exactly. control, uh, that's Don't not as restricted as house arrest, correct? There is going to be a section of house arrest in his sentence but two years of community control followed by house arrest and also probation so a total of nine years together that also Fuck includes America. psychiatric and mental health treatment as well okay all right he just basically got a slap on the wrist and a gift the fuck is that shit